the EMC Video On Demand Library. You have probably heard about HP's recent YouTube video and Edison report claiming that the HP EVA is easier to use than EMC Clarion. As you read through the Edison report, you can find some summary tables towards the end, leading the reader to believe that it takes users almost three times as long to perform certain tasks on Clarion that it takes the user to perform on an EVA. So we set out to see for ourselves how long it actually takes to perform these tasks on a Clarion. So Gordon, HP claims it takes 95 seconds for Navi to create a RAID 5 group. Can you uh, show me the steps? Certainly. First we're going to right click and bring up the Create RAID Group menu. We can choose a RAID Group ID of any of the unused numbers. We choose the number of disks we want to use. We can choose the RAID type. The disks are chosen automatically. Click Apply, and we've created a new RAID group. Nice. Um, so what about creating a hot spare? Uh, according to the Edison report, that takes about 90 seconds. Can you uh, walk us through those steps? Sure. This is going to be doing it from scratch. It's going to be two quick steps. We're going to create a new RAID group of just one disk and designate the RAID type as hot spare. And then since a hot spare is actually a type of LUN, we're going to create a LUN on that RAID group. Label it type hot spare. Choose which RAID group. We'll use the one that we just created. Click apply. And we're done. Cool. What about creating a LUN? According to Edison, that would take about 45 seconds. Okay. And this is going to be similar to what we did with the hot spare. We can choose a different RAID type for this. So make a RAID 6 LUN. We'll use the RAID group that we just created. We choose a capacity, say maybe 10 gigs. Click Apply. And again, we're done. Oh, OK. So what about creating a storage group? That allegedly takes 35 seconds. OK. We'll cancel out of this. So again, right click, same starting point. Create a storage group, and we can provide a name for it here. We'll click OK, and the storage group has been created. OK. Um, so last but not least, Edison claims it takes about 35 seconds to s assign a host to the storage group. Can you walk me through that, please? Absolutely. So the storage group we just created is now listed under the storage group setting. I'm just going to right click on the title. Connect hosts. Shows the available host. Just going to highlight it, move it into the group. And now that host is part of the storage group. Great. So it roughly, uh, it took us uh, under three minutes, 2.45, to walk through steps that, according to Edison, take about six minutes. Um, OK, so um, how would a user actually allocate storage if we were to use the wizard? This is going to streamline it quite a bit. The wizard is going to take us step by step through the entire process. So we first have an introduction to the steps involved. Then we're going to choose which host we want to assign some new storage to. We choose which storage system we're going to use for that storage. We're shown the existing RAID groups. So we can choose one of these. If we needed to, we could make a new one here. We select how many LUNs we want to create. We can even put the name on it right here. We choose a size. We can check out our summary to make sure we've selected what we wish to. Click Finish. And the LUN will be created. The LUN will be placed in the appropriate storage group. If that storage group didn't exist, it would have been created for us. And now that LUN is visible to the host. Got it. So it essentially took us one minute to, to do sort of three steps in one using a pretty intuitive wizard. OK. Got it. Well, thank you very much, Gordon. OK. Very welcome.
Now let's take a closer look at the task times Edison measured and how they compare to what we just did. Edison claims it took 95 seconds to create a RAID group. We created a RAID group in 30 seconds. A similar picture for the creation of a hot spare and the other tasks for that matter. By the way, neither Edison nor HP explained that with Clarion, you typically only create hot spares once, certainly not every time you provision storage. So adding this task to the ongoing storage provisioning is misleading. On average, Edison and HP overstated the measured task times by a factor of three with no clear explanation as to why that is. Don't believe the hype. Clarion gives you the tools to execute a rich set of activities most competitors do not offer. What's more, Clarion expands ease of use beyond simple tasks into all aspects of daily storage management.